Hi everyone and welcome back here to my uh, space and um, to my hologram, to my world. <laughs> and I uh, hope you're doing well and uh, just again a uh, beautiful day, right? Uh, outside um, in the neighborhood uh, it was uh, high tide but uh, I had my again, swim, a little bit of workout, sunshine here and uh, Let's uh, kind of continue with this whole, you know, interesting disclo well, disclosure on all levels and dimensions and with all these psychological operations, right? That's why I have a project um, for all that, um, for DARPA and for uh, uh, the Marines, my uh, soul group and, um, you know, how to pretty much transform and the healing process so we're laying the ground uh, groundwork uh, it's like a foundation okay uh, how to um, rehabilitate from these uh, black projects and um, from the SRA the satanic ritual abuses right like I was kind of mentioning explaining last time what really happened and so uh, yeah we're uh, definitely addressing all that this whole uh, you know my control and uh, how it um, creates um, uh, interesting individuals out of us who we really are not because um, you know the AI and the aliens extremely highly advanced they are plastering holograms and all kinds of insertions in our light body and the its program is like a software and through satellites right they are influencing or they're actually controlling uh, our uh, brainwave frequencies, they are siphoning our Kundalini, right? All these addictions are being controlled through AI as well. And this is very inorganic. They are pretty much breaking the law. They've been breaking the law, uh, the, the even the Galactic Codex for, for so long. And I understand the Drekos, you know, they have kind of their own uh, world of realities. Everybody's living their bubble, right? Everybody's got their own. Uh, you know everybody's unique their perception of realities and here with this whole we're the cleanup group right we're the the ground crew the system busters here the renegades here you know the galactic um Ashta galactic command and the Andromeda council uh, we're doing um all these uh, corrections right all this cleansing clearing purification is to uh, happen on all levels dimensions and here also in the physical body emotional body mental body and of course, we've been healing the space, right? The, the platonic solace, the dodecahedron, and um, the sound body, the Russia body, okay? So it's been um, lots of inner work, transformational work, lots of chanting, Japa Mantra meditation, okay? So um, inner work, uh, energy work, transformational work is a must because we're a sound, light frequency vibrations, we're 99.9% .9 energies, right? You know, we're like hologram, right? We're multidimensional uh, beings, and um, you know, we're we came here to uh, kind of materialize ourselves here in this dimension, right? Taking on this kind of interesting DNA, kind of Saturnian uh, DNA of uh, the hybrids and uh, the. Uh, um, you know, hybrid Anunnaki and Alpha Dracon is here, the Nephilim, kind of uh, Nephilim, right? And uh, we're, we're the volunteer souls here and uh, making a difference. We need to stop the cycle, right, of this proxy wars, proxy Israel, of these genocides and cataclysm, the, the, all these bioweapons, directed energy weapons, psychotronic weapons. Guys, this is all um you can see it's all transpiring because you know the cosmic energies are here and we're on the very very top you know the peak cycle right so it's a beautiful time also a beautiful time to celebrate at the same time you know the darkness is surfacing in a very visceral and just it's just kind of very um kind of a uh, strict uh, real way you know just a very what's the word for it like it's um it's very evident okay so and for some people can be shocking some people may be still cutting it off shutting under the carpet right but if there's a situation we need to con confront right to be a true spiritual warrior we have to face the darkness right we're going through the dark night of the soul and then learning slowly how to befriend those fears right how to uh, you know work on that shadow right i mean we are the uh -huh you know shadow workers right especially for you know helping the military and so on how the whole programming the whole mind control there and all these you know ccp jab the black goo the nazi neuralink and this whole sodomy kind of right the initiation those who are the elite right 
that all these SRA, satanic ritual abuses, sodomy, black magic, and how it harms your light body, your energy field, your mind, your kundalini, right? And that's, you know, they uh, create, uh, they become these individuals terrorists and uh, satanists, right? So the whole Satanism, Luciferianism, right? The Luciferian Knights Templars and so on with the Luciferian Covenant after the Cataclysm in Atlantis, right? This all is being addressed right here, right now, this energy uh, arrested, right? We are transforming, transmuting, and we are creating platform uh, for the elite, for DARPA, for the Illuminati, for my soul group, right? For the black magicians there. And, um, you know, so they can rehabilitate their DNA, their consciousness, um, their hologram, and they can, um, you know, start living their lives, you know, start understanding what is truth, what is true, uh, true purpose of life, and what is the true fabrics of reality, what life is really all about, and the Trinity structure is coming back online. The zero point divine neutrality, namaste, right? Very important. That's how we connect, reconnect with our true self, with source, because we've been here uh, kind of disconnected here in this prison planet through AI, right? The highly advanced uh, technology from those extremely vicious, you know, negative aliens. So this is all going to divine justice. The galactic codex is being implemented. Everything's under the law of one because even the cosmic cycle, right, is turning. We're going back north, perfect direction, right? And, um, you know, everything is brought to divine justice. It's under, you know, everything's under the law of one, the cosmic sovereign law. And each individ each of us individually, we have to face our own shadow, right? Our darkness. It's just part of the deal here. We've been negatively polarized and we have all kinds of, you know, trauma, drama happening, not only from this lifetime, but from past lifetimes, especially those from Atlantis, Lemuria, ancient Egypt, right? And uh, all this cataclysm and genocide and death camps and, and gas chambers and concentration camps, right? So, uh, and that's what it is that people don't have time to heal and people don't have time to really realize and facing fears and transforming those fears, befriending those fears, right? And learning how to uh, finally connect, reconnect and, you know, feel our true essence, connect, reconnect with our soul, right? So we talk about the building the momentum, right? With the 12D shielding, with the unity bow, with the vowed flame of transformation, transmutation, right? The armor of God holding uh, tight to that sort of truth, right? Um, the King Salmon and, and so on. And or see yourself, um, you know, in like a golden bubble or the golden dome of Solar Christ Archangel Michael for protection. Um, because of this, this beautiful kind of meditation from Lisa Rene, right? When you see there is a door, and behind the door there's the your long there's a long lost friend fear, right? So when you feel like you're being energized, right? You start strengthening your inner core. You know you've done some inner work, transformational work, slowly and surely, right? Uh, it's time to open the door and face the darkness, face those fears, befriend them, right? Talk to those fears, right? Also, we talk about writing things down, right? A uh, protocol that's actually from uh, Kathy O'Brien, PTSD Time to Heal. And also we have the 5D protocol from Telos, writing down emotions or feelings or thoughts that they're limiting us and thoughts, feelings, emotions that expanding our consciousness each and every day, right? As we are walking those energies of love and faith and trust and grace and gratitude, gratitude, compassion, guys. These energies are kicking in. And that way we can uh, start really transforming or facing that shadow, right? Uh, we see it also like a child, right? That didn't receive attention, healing at the time when it was uh, um, the most necessary because there was no time, all this stress, another war, another struggle, another problem, another mind control, another rape, another abuse, right? Another propaganda, another psyop. And it's just like nonstop or people are working here, right? Automatic pilot. People are so busy with everything, another relationship, another house, another car you know and uh insurance and um you know who knows what else like the material right the material world the matrix the consumerism right so this is all needs to be arrested right so that's why we talk about take a pause take a deep breath consolidate right feel your heart say thank you i see it for what it is 
at the same time you know you recognize who you truly are you're not the ego you're not the emotion you're not the horror terror even though they invaded our space they invaded our central nervous system the ai the negative aliens and through abuse and through military recruitments right those guys are nothing but a property of uh, DARPA and uh, with all this stuff their uh, god code is being um, uh, targeted or you know kind of cancelled eliminated or this whole knockout going on right and um, then they're also creating clones right all these cloning facilities uh, in the underground military bases and um, you have um, the Nibrian uh, military bases in, in the entire solar system so all these patents and, and so on so uh th that's why you know it's i understand like this everybody's got their own disclosure right whatever you resonate with you know and you know whatever your consciousness is uh, everything's reflection of our consciousness right so people like if we're doing disclosure that's actually a reflection of ourselves right how we're doing the pre how we're disclosing things what is our presentation what is the goal we're trying to achieve or what is our project right or you know the path that we took what was that all about right so i talk about the process of self-transformation from psychological operations right and for, of course it included sra right the satanic ritual abuse right and it's for uh, the echelon you know the power elite and of course um you know the the hybrid Anunnaki and the Draco kind of federation, the Hydra and the Octopus and other terroristic organizations, okay? So um, that we need to address everything. Like I said, the darkness needs to be recognized from A to Z, right? So it can perfectly merge with the light, right? The polarity integration, very important. So that's why, like I said, the cosmic energies, right? There are highest of the highest, the Schumann resonant frequency, we have the solar flares and the solar storm and um, just name it, the CMEs, right? Way up there. And so now the darkness is extremely evident. It's right here, right in front of our faces, right in front, front of our eyes. So have that strength, be the strong spiritual warrior to face all that right and you know first on an individual level right uh you know it's kind of slowly and surely and just uh, you, you know the meditation being outside in nature really re reconciling and uh, also repenting or the self-talk right very important you know and not my will but done be done right so time to embark on a soul journey and service to others okay and understanding the law of one, I talk about the law of one, the universal uh, laws, the 13 principles of natural laws, very important guys to, um, you know, study all that, study yourself and uh, do research and uh, start understanding the ascension mechanics and start understanding true nature realities, right? Studying the sacred geometry, the platonic solace, the teachings of the ascended ones, the yoga union with the divine. So, um, you know, my background is the yoga Ayurveda, and that's uh, you know that's kind of uh, what I want to implement into the my ash the ashram the healing centers yoga centers you know with meditation Zen gardens how it's important to be outside in, in nature Mother Earth right that's it's uh, it's so beautiful it's just goddess goddess Gaia with all these healing energies healing herbs and beautiful flowers and fruits and vegetables and uh, trees okay and beautiful meadows and the mountains and uh, also the animal kingdom, the mineral kingdom, right? The plant kingdom, it's all reviving, crystallizing, harmonizing, right? So we are part of, uh, part, part, you know, we're part of uh, mother, right? Mother earth, we're microcosm of the macrocosm, right? we're so children of the entire universe. And that's how the divine angelic uh, luminous beings were designed, right? The five star humans with potential of 12 strands DNA, direct connection to God, to source, and having all kinds of beautiful psychic abilities, magical abilities, and healing abilities, and being playful and being extremely creative, right? So we're bringing the divine order here back online, the Emerald Order, Emerald Covenant, right? Which is a loving co creation with the divine under the law of one, with free will. I mean, Freedom of speech, that's why I'm resurrecting the constitution of 1776, the Declaration of Dependence, right? Thank you, Saint Germain, right? The Atlantis rising right here in front of our eyes, right? The North Continent of America merging with the South Continent of America right there in the middle in our sacred heart, right? Talk about Yahshua, right? Yahshua, the 12th, also perfect yogi, perfect um, 
manifestation demonstration, right, of the divine beings, uh, luminous beings, right, with 12 strands of DNA and so on. So, you know, this all all these energies, all these beautiful uh, holographic energy images of the new earth are here in the atmosphere, in the air. And slowly and surely, we have to dismantle this whole my control, my control, and all these um, holographic inserts of those negative aliens, right? All these alien implants and so on, right? So, um, uh, alien implants, they work in the human body similarly as the chemical process of geoengineering is used in spraying chemtrails in the skies. Alien implants are a bioengineering technology designed to shape the human body into the submission to the negative alien agenda, while chemical nanoparticle geoengineering is used to control the weather by harming the ozone layer and excessive create excessive methane gases, as well as assorted pathological mutations, right? So, um, you know, just understanding that, reading that, what it does, and they're creating unstable people, right? How they're constantly targeting us, all these harassment, especially they're targeting wounded males and then being drafted, right? They're selling their soul or it's just kind of how it's the whole um, recruitments are done, right? And uh, look who is uh, then happening to them. And that's why, you know, the wounded veterans or helping those guys to uh, rehabilitate, to finally get back on track, to me there it's a must, right? Uh, you see the consequences, what happens, like those veterans back then in Tennessee, right? When there was, um, the slavery was abolished by uh, Benjamin Franklin, and then you have that KKK being created, right? Uh, veterans not really being helped, not, they're not, not being healed and uh, not facing the fear, right? And this been all the patterns been uh, pretty much, uh, at, uh, at, um, what is it happening, right? All along. So we need to arrest all that. Uh, just very important, right? This whole artificial machinery and so on, so the program, the mind control, right? How with all these, uh, the mind control, there's a lack of empathy or this genetic mutation and they're plastering the holograms of the victim, victimizer and this whole sexual misery programming, all these divorce, uh, divorces, another boyfriend, girlfriend, right? Uh, what is it? Um, polygamy or polygamy all the Mormon church, right? And, and the satanic rituals abuses as well and how people are sharing their experiences, right? Because this all been kind of here implanted through the solar, you know, I mean, not solar, the lunar magnetism and through this AI technology and the satellites and the chemtrails and GMO and uh, movies and videos and mainstream media and even technology, right? And even um, those who work, in, you know, in the entire infrastructure or uh, MD, right? Uh, medicine and, you know, science and entertainment industry, guys. Uh, we all went through MKUltra, my control, some of us on like very maybe um, kind of moderate level and some people extreme it was extreme right so anybody who pretty much who work for corporations you know that you were severely mind controlled like it's just this kind of how it is because you enter the ai kind of alien a uh, dark mother um the satanic kind of territory right of the nazi gestapo of the draconian kind of fascist nature and you know the energy slow it's called it's called soul killing or this kind of kill box programming and you know how that it's painful now with the essential symptoms how it's painful to transform transmute it so have some compassion with yourself love it's time to love yourself unconditionally so this is um kind of and we have to learn and we have to heal and we have to learn how to um all these downloads right from those negative aliens how we need to eject eject the 3d ego mind that's why it's so important the negative ego right all this flattery all this sugar coatedness right it's it's very it's actually very satanic it's very dark it's very black magic even though it, it can sound it's so great and you know on the outside it's just so beautiful but those who read energies and who are true to themselves and who've done the healing work and integration work and transformational work and who are very simple and humble right they're walking with christ and they have the you know protection and, and so on uh, so uh, you you read the energies and you know how 
it's uh, something you know it's making some of us that who we are not but some people they just kind of they absorb all that and they're comfortable with that and uh, instead of you know changing it they're choosing just to stay ignorant and in that 3d matrix so uh, again it's now it's a choice right because there's going to be bifurcation or trifurcation of consciousness you know we're the guardians we're more more like uh, watching and observing things and just kind of um, that deciphering things on extremely uh, deep level and uh, you know dealing with those high densities as well right those are the galactics or, or the star seeds who, who came here to embody the cosmic Christ consciousness so uh, we all got we everybody's going through their own initiations right I initiations and um, their challenges right to pretty much um, bring ourselves back to light right no more serving the darkness but um be the light divine and shining bright so the holographic inserts guys those are dead light, dead light matrices also they also reflect the artificially bent light holographic inserts so you know that the aliens or the darpa or military they know there's the technology it can bend light light can be bent right and um and these holographic inserts they contain controlled versions of the nature of the reality such as crucifixion implants so that's why also be careful like the bible and understand you have to be sensitive you know, like sensitive or tolerant here that this even the religions being installed here uh, through ai through those negative elements right and uh you know it's, it's a mind control the belief system right and lots of people they put a lot of love into that uh, but also at, at the same time, you know, it's very important to check the belief system and also do the research. And the best research, your body's your laboratory, is meditation. When you start diving deep within your heart and asking questions, everything needs to be pretty much questioned now, okay? And so... And this, this is uh, so... They're putting it in into the outer field of the planet, okay? So these uh, artificially bent light holographic inserts, they're pretty much shattering them and systematically putting them into the um, into the atmosphere, right? Into the into the air. So these are false realities, artificial holographic inserts that we have thought were real, and then developed mental beliefs that held that specific version of reality in its timelines kept in place. As these false realities are shattered into pieces for those maintaining energetic balance in this explosive terrain, right? So, you know, we're going through lots of challenges here. We can read the signature of those dead light pieces that reflect the nature of its disease and its schism. That's why uh, all this schism, Nazism, Bolshevism, right? Socialism, communism, capitalism, Bolshev Bolshevism, ism, right? And uh, so it's uh, actually everything that is uh, uh, this kind of even terminology, those words, right? They're uh, pr programmed through AI, through those dark aliens. All these holographic inserts, they, they work like a software program. Software, so we have to dismant dismantle all that uh, uh, through our, first through our belief systems, right? And also, it's uh, our chakras also being hijacked or programmed, right? Even the whole uh, kind of the, the sexuality here is being also weaponized and kind of um, uh, satanitized, right? like for kind of satanism, right? It's been uh, very digressed and uh, it's been, um, there's a word for it, weaponized and it's, uh, it's been hijacked and it demonized demonized okay and as well these sex games in the military oh my goodness right time to take a deep breath and go within and detach i am in this world but not of it okay the kingdom of heaven is within know yourself know your true self and be free exit the matrix non-attachment the detachment is so important guys right because we're not the emotions and you know all these attachments that's what happens right whether in military movies or in real life it's bad in relationships right this control manipulation then you cannot control that person then you need to destroy that person right 
and all this abuse and violence all this because of these attachments people tr uh, all this need right or it's, it's like addiction to control to manipulate others in yoga ayurveda we're managing ourselves our sexual energy through brahmacharya moderation walking the middle path the yellow brick road buddhism right or buddha being awakened meditation under the bodhi tree okay being in beautiful gardens zen gardens meditation so all these predator uses that this all victimizer software guys okay and this victim victimizer software controlling human beings to enforce we're enforcing our own enslavement and torture actually we're doing it to ourselves or i'm black or you're white or you know i'm jew or i'm muslim i'm poor or i'm rich uh, I don't know what else, you know, all this uh, conquer and divide, right? And all these lies and deceptions, all these attachments, possessions, all these addictions, right? Like I was mentioning, there's a problem. People need to kind of retreat to like the drinking instead of seeing for what it is. Observe it, detach. Oh my goodness. Don't be on an automatic pilot, right? Snap out of it from that illusion, from all this mind control. The energies are here when you go deep within and start loving yourself unconditionally, okay? So we're doing it to ourselves, right? All this enslavement, torture, and it's done through the financial and debt, debt enslavement, all this whole money, right? How, you know, it's like uh, all, all about the money here, right? Or all about the money, right? And so uh, what is it, debt enslavement, and um, predator mind, I'm sorry, the dead and create power, poverty consciousness, creating power. It is a mind slide or holographic insert program where human beings completely ignored unapproved words. And that's what I meant. That's I can see how even nobody's watching, right? I'm few probably wondering here, the military and so on. I understand, you know, but you know it is what it is like how uh the people have triggers so we have to embrace those triggers right recognize them right so tapping k27 and healing ourselves from all that okay we need to say thank you right for noticing but change you know change the frequency vibration transform transmute it through the inner alchemy right we have the technology within us and then all these unimproved, you know, topics, revered terms that involve enslavement, torture, right? Even they, they come face to face, they, they want to ignore it. Oh, that's what I wanted to know. Uh, people have triggers, people cannot watch it. People then don't want to um, admit it, right? They're constantly judging, pointing fingers and to others, which is, you know, well, natural, the ego, which is the ego a response, right? Instead of being proactive and the vowed flame in action, people are reactive with all these triggers and impulses that they cannot control but they want to control others right here in yoga ayurveda i mean we're in we're inner directed inner sustain right and we know how to generate our energy we feel the power of our soul right of our oversoul as our monad and we're the christos avatar some of our cosmic christos avatars here through the cosmic law coming online the divine order coming online here to this dimension to finally end the cycle of that Kali Yuga, of the darkness, the agenda of those negative aliens. And so if they do face it, the predator may threaten their life. You can, yeah, you can be threatened, right? The electronic harassment's been happening. Or their carrier, their family through the software to influence public or group perception to incite persecution and character assassination. Those are, uh, those are the predator uses victimizer software it's a software this may happen when the person is aware he has been targeted for persecution or the person is not aware at all that events are being influenced through this targeting software they're just alien machinery spiritual leaders and those making headway in certain unapproved areas right um you know of public discussion such as extraterrestrials that's why i would uh, that would be so beautiful when uh, donald trump would even mention right uh, um you know highly advanced technology tesla technology because his uh, uncle uh he uh he was um or there was the evidence right he was in the laboratory of nikola tesla 
and uh, you know all this evidence right there about the levitating uh, technology about spaceships spacecraft the anti-gravity the reverse engineering and so on right so instead of being uh, hooked to the oil and we need the oil the Middle East and now the petrodollar is gone right by tomorrow okay so the dollar will go down the value of the dollar okay so well we have this beautiful extraterrestrials here helping us right and um kind of balancing the energies of those negative aliens that they're wreaking havoc here on this planet on the underground right and in the entire solar system and this galaxy right this kind of disclosure we want right slowly and surely people there's so much evidence and slowly and surely right people need to embrace it right even hear it and you know those who are ready they will they actually embrace it they they're actually waiting so many people are waiting for all that from those politicians to say that there there's a galactic family star family from Pleiades from the inner earth right I mean the, the all this evidence it's, it's it's been there since 1940s and even before World War II right so uh, this is how we are making difference okay at the same time you've got to be responsible and you have to have a protection the 12 the shielding unity vow unity meditation right you have to do your inner work transformational work right or those who talk about ufo abduction my lab military abduction alien implants we talk about the sra the satanic use of child blood sacrifice pedophilia when you talk about pedophilia the moloch insignia right the, the moloch tanks and so then we are being targeted for victimization through assorted psychological operations used in the controlled media right so we all need some healing we all need some uh, grace walking those energies of love and grace and just uh, we need to be brave we need to be the true spiritual warriors and don't be afraid of talking about you know the sexual mind control for example right the sexual misery program the victim victimizer you know those are highly destructive addictions and deviant sexual attitudes uh that it, that is being propagated right um this whole even at school and i just saw my neighbor actually my roommate just told me how a police was grabbing the guy uh, it was a little well a little, he was how old was maybe eight years old he was grabbing him very sadistically i guess he didn't want to go and uh it's it's caught in camera how uh you know the law enforcement right it's over violence is happening it's i understand these energies everything is surfacing the darkness those who haven't done the inner work then and i'm looking also all these uh, cops right the police guys they have all these ai you know the uniform i mean the microwave frequency right the guns and you know it's just dam also damaging their aura energy field their heartbeat their brain their mind so if they're not taking them take care of themselves like in nature you know time to neutralize harmonize these energies with shung guide uh right the what is the the high harmonizers right you can put on your cell phones and so on so start being proactive right while playing in action all this transformation happening so and uh yeah that's why we, we we see all this perversion oh my goodness right and the, the sexual activity is it's uh, laced with guilt shame right and then it takes us into the lowest form and it's not supposed to be like that right all this distortion and also all like for example in muslim countries that the honor killing or the legal killing of rape girls or women by being left in the desert to die okay or you have uh, selling little children or girls to prostitution in thailand this is all like becoming normal that's why you know we're bringing everything in, into divine justice this is not normal for children or here catholic priests in here involving pedophilia in the vatican or all this sadism and masochism in in germany right those kind of sex game also in the military and so on so because that's how the negative ones they're harvesting sexual energies right and it goes into the nephilim reversal grade the Bethlehem network the lunar forces the false magnetism the sra so we are came here to and the cycle and do all this transformation chance mutation is extremely important guys okay so we also talk about you know healing your actual body especially your second chakra and so on right how instead of all these um uh well addictions and uncontrollable uh, responses how we need to calm down right and face our fears 
transform our fears, right? See it as the baby that hasn't that um, hasn't received uh, the proper care and attention. You know, it's um, we are dealing with you know the power elite, huge big ego, right? With a narcissistic kind of nature and with pathology and psychopaths and so on, right? You know, it's uh, time to you know face all that and uh, like love conquers all. It means love will heal all. At the same time, God is God and love is law. You know, you uh, avoiding it and hiding it and pretending it and just kind of not recognizing it and the, all these psychological operations still going on and electronic harassment, right? We are detecting all that because we said the disclosure from A to Z, right? Alpha and Omega on all places, levels and dimensions and so on. You know, it is what it is. You know, everything's recognized with these beautiful plasma uh, light frequency, photonic light frequencies, gamma ray frequencies, right? Coming online. There is not even other way. There's no other way. We have to learn how to deal with it, how to heal it, right? How to deprogram ourselves. Um, there is an alien implant protocol how to remove and this whole the reptilian brain implant right that, that was also placed in the brain stem via medulla oblongata right and uh, that's what keeps us in a that some people are diagnosed as bipolar and so on the dichotomy and especially in the military the whole recruitment those guys right they have to fuse their left hemisphere with the right hemisphere of the brain right very important and being that zero point divine neutrality uh, and um, you know there's a technology for that as well and uh, you know from a highly advanced uh, civilization you know um, the galactics they're helping us with healing uh, with uh, ascension right with consciousness expansion with liberation of this planet so you know uh, don't be afraid again of the darkness of that shadow you know start studying the agenda of those negative aliens and so on you know the exile politics right start raising your frequency vibration start toning right or singing chanting or if you you know work with uh, chakras right humming uh, and so on right so this getting more easier and easier to <laughs> Just kind of uh, release the darkness, the shadow, the limiting thoughts, the limiting belief system, right? Um, we are befriending um, the, um, the, the fear, right? So there is the uh, core fear removal uh, matrix program. So that I'll, I'll be again mentioning it on my, uh, there's going to be a new protocol for yoga and meditation for my soul group for DARPA, right? For veterans. Um, that they need lots of healing like I said um, uh, their brainwave frequencies needs to be harmonized right uh, from all these uh, kind of super soldier experimentation from this uh, MK Ultra and so on right we need to bring everything into total balance and harmony and um, also the sexual energy needs to be corrected it needs to be healed right energized and so on so the soul can be embodied and we can start feeling our true divine nature and uh yeah let me stop here i'll talk to you next time many blessings and namaste